Hey now, say now, what's up y'all? So today we're going to be making some stewed beef with some veggies, some mashed potatoes, and some broccoli. And then I'm also going to be making a blueberry casserole bake that I found on Pinterest. So let's get to it. So right now you just see me rinsing off my meat and we're going to season it. Yeah, I really wanted to put some gloves on, but I'm like, what's the purpose of putting on gloves if I'm going to be touching seasoning? So we're just going to be using this Badia, I think it's Badia, <laughs> complete seasoning that I found at Aldi's. And then we're going to use our Cajun two-step. I found that one at Walmart. Y'all, I put that on everything, okay? But you can't use too much or your food be a little spicy. And then I use some ground black pepper. And then I'm also going to use some uh, garlic. Y'all, I got this big container of garlic because we love garlic. And when I be buying them little itty bitty containers, we run out real fast. And then Quay be like, where the garlic at? So now you're just going to see me mix my, um, well, stir my beef around. We're not mixing nothing together. But <laughs> stir my beef around so that it can be covered evenly with seasoning. And I'm going to season it one more time. And now you're just going to see me chop up the veggies. So, y'all, we have some onion. We have carrots. We have green bell peppers and red bell peppers. It came out pretty good, y'all. I know y'all can't see my whole face, but excuse my face, y'all. Those onions had me tore up. I'm sitting there trying to, I'm trying to fight it, but my eyes were burning. Okay, somebody tell me a way to um keep onions from burning your eyeballs when you cut them because I've tried a lot of things and it just did not work. And after that, ooh, y'all, that look good already. It's something about a color combination with veggies that just make food look delightful before it's even cooked. So now we're just gonna add some beef broth in there to give it a little juice while it's cooking in the oven. And then we're gonna add some foil to cover it up and kind of, you know, help the meat cook better, I guess. <laughs> y'all, I really need to uh, update my pots and stuff. But yeah, we're putting that in there. And then we're gonna get started on our mashed potatoes. You guys, I accidentally deleted the mashed potato footage when I went to go make this video, but it's included in my last vlog. So y'all go check that vlog out if you haven't already seen it. But right now we're just gonna wash our potatoes off so we can chop them up and put them in the water. scrub those things because sometimes they be dirty and once I cut them I did give them another good rinse just to make sure that they were clean thoroughly Hey, Andrews is back. So that meat is not done. We're gonna put it back in the oven. What is it? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get into this blueberry French toast bake. So since I got this off of Pinterest, I included the ingredients and the instructions on how to make the bake. I will also put the link in the description box just in case you wanna go to the main source and print it off. But we're just gonna be adding our eight eggs. Y'all, this blueberry french toast is so good. So we eat it for breakfast, and one time I even ate it as a dessert with some vanilla ice cream, and oh my goodness, it was delicious. And then we're gonna add our two cups of milk. Well, y'all, <laughs> I got the directions in there, and I put my measurements and everything on the screen. So I'm gonna be quiet and just let you guys watch. Girl, what are you doing? Get a whisk and whisk that thing, okay? There you go, like that. Mm -hmm.
Okay, you guys, don't be like me. So as I was layering and I put the second layer on top, I realized that I forgot to put blueberries on the first layer. <laughs> so you're going to see me trying to stuff blueberries all throughout the, um, the French toast when I go to do the second layer. But don't be like me. You want to add blueberries on the first layer and on the second layer as well. Okay, you guys, when it comes to the brown sugar topping, this go round, I ended up doing my own thing and kind of making like a brown sugar icing type situation, which is why you're going to see me add um, powdered sugar. And then when you follow the directions, it includes butter and you kind of like crumble it all up or process it. And I'm just going to add, you know, some milk, some powdered sugar, and then the other um, ingredients everything except for the butter and I'm just gonna whisk it all together and then you're gonna see me pour it on top. French toast looking really good I'm gonna have to cut into it for y'all once it's finished cooling off mashed potatoes broccoli let me take the meat out meat reveal Ooh, that looks good looks really good definitely done I was gonna make gravy, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. It looked real red on here, which I, I promise is more brown than red in real life. But these veggies looking good. This meat is looking good. I don't know. Should I make gravy? Nah, I'm not gonna make no gravy. I might. I guess when y'all see the plate reveal, y'all gonna know if I make gravy or not. 
But yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know if you guys want to try it. So this is stewed beef that I had got from Walmart. It smells really good. Oh, I got to do a taste test. Okay, let me make a small plate. Hold on, y'all. I have a small plate. It has the beef on there, carrot, mashed potatoes, broccoli. What's that, Lamborghini? Lamborghini? That's not their name. Y'all. It's so good. It's like the meat just melts in your mouth. Get some broccoli. Y'all, it's good. My mama inspired this meal because I went over there yesterday and she had put like a roast in the crock pot with the veggies and she made like some i think she made green beans though but she didn't have no starch she didn't have no rice or nothing so i was like i'm making mashed potatoes man yeah it's good okay all right y'all oh blueberries Y'all, I need to give me a, a, a spatula. Okay, this is hard to do with one hand. Okay, let me scoop it on the plate. Y'all, this doesn't do it any justice. Soft. I should have showed y'all the cut. I think it is too. Yo, this is good. You want some? Yes, sir. My son is over there. I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little more, um, like brown sugar on top. Damn. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you try any of these recipes. I'll be sure to link the um, the French toast down below. Oh, man, this is good. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. But my mom said I get to have some um, this blueberry toast cake. Blueberry toast cake. Blueberry toast cake. She would think about it. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all.